नमस्कार आई होप यू आर इन बेस्ट ऑफ योर हेल्थ एंड एंजॉइंग योर स्टडीज एट द मोमेंट सो लेट सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन आई होप यू हैव विजिटेड माय प्लेलिस्ट ऑफ पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन वेर आई हैव डिस्कस्ड राइट फ्रॉम फॉर्मेशन ऑफ पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन टू ऑल द सब टॉपिक्स आर देयर सो आई होप यू नो दैट प्ले इफ नॉट प्लीज विजिट इट यू विल गेट अ लॉट फ्रॉम दैट प्ले coming back to this uh, problem it's a problem of uh, first standard form it's a non linear partial differential equation i hope you know what is p and q if not p is del z by del x and your q is del z by del y these are just simple notations which we use throughout this chapter now a uh, first step in uh, this uh, solution by first standard form is to get a function of p comma q equals to 0 and because this is in this form right hand side is 0 so let's name this equation now what's the next step the next step is to just write the solution so we write that the solution of equation number 1 is given by it is simply given by z equals to ax plus by plus c now we are not happy with this uh, ax plus by plus c because we want to uh, instead of writing it in terms of three constant we want to uh, keep c as it is but we want to inter uh, change and write a in terms of b or b in terms of e so that we are left with only two constant so for that we have to do something more so let's name this equation number 2 so for that we have a relation where f of a comma b equals to 0 so this relation will help us to interchange a in terms of b or b in terms of a but how to get this equation simple thing is there uh, just replace p by a and q by b now this is simple because uh, you have z equals to ax plus by plus c so if you find del z by del x from here which is also your p so that will come out to be a partially differentiated with respect to x simply if you find del z by del y this will come out this is q and this will come out to be b if you partially differentiate it with respect to y because this and this will be treated as constant so this is a simple uh, reason behind why we replace if you do so uh, then from equation number 1 we can write ab plus a plus b equals to z i personally want to write b in terms of a you can uh, think differently also you can write b a in terms of uh, b also so how to do that for that uh, let's see what we can do so you want to write uh, b in terms of a okay so from this two terms you can take b common so you are left with a plus 1 and you can send this a to that side so your b is minus a divided by a plus 1 fine we have successfully written b in terms of a now it's simple uh, come back to equation number so from equation number 2 we can write z equals to 
राइट ए एक्स एज इट इज इन प्लेस ऑफ बी वी कैन राइट ए डिवाइडेड बाई ए प्लस वन टाइम्स वाई प्लस सी दिस इज योर फाइनल सोल्यूशन सो इजी मेथड ओके जस्ट फंक्शन ऑफ पी कॉमा क्यू इक्वल टू जीरो दैट वॉज ऑलरेडी गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन सोल्यूशन फॉर्मेट यू ऑलरेडी नो जेड इक्वल टू एक्स प्लस बी वाई प्लस सी only thing you have to do is to either write a in terms of b or b in terms of a for that we have a function of a comma b equals to 0 just simplify it get b in terms of a or a in terms of b and uh, simply put in that final solution equation and you will get everything you want so i hope you understood it uh, do visit my playlist of partial differential equation for further uh, similar problems and other types of problems from partial differential equation Thanks and have a very nice day.